Hello everyone, I'm Amari and welcome back to another episode of my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play series. I have a tiny bit of a cold, so sorry. Apologies already, I'm gonna sound a little nasally. I was, I ended the episode quite abruptly yesterday. I didn't realize how long I was recording. It was like three and a half hours already. And so um, I cut it off right there. Anyways, there's still more to do around here as I was I was as was brought to my attention at the moment at the time when I was playing I didn't want to get I didn't want to do too much and not have enough for Catherick. I was so tunnel minded I guess but here I'm gonna take a look around here there are pods and I didn't bother looking in because I was afraid of doing anything and setting off the entire place but then as I was entering this room I noticed I could hover over this and I didn't notice this before I'm gonna check it out there's a parasite nearby you should take a closer look. Ooh! I got another one. Unfortunately, the mines, someone said that I can have mines and do something here with them. And I can't go back to camp. I send them all to camp. Um, I didn't know that I could bring it here, right? So I was just collecting them. I, I didn't even know we could do anything with them. I just was collecting them for, for myself. Um, so that's for second playthrough because, you know, I don't want to go back. There's no way back out. There's only forward. There's not anyone in this pod. Uh, let's take a look over here. Okay, I don't know what that neural apparatus does. Mind Flayer. Do I want to let you out? I don't know if I want to let you out. That's not a mind flare. Trust. You remember the shattered windows of Alterel's High Cathedral, the burning black sky of Avernus beyond. In its horror, the blood war unites you. Tiefling, dwarf, and elf alike huddle behind the shields of your paladin order, waiting for salvation. But when it comes, disunity, the returned city casts your people out. The devils who dragged them down to hell. In the end, it is not your paladin oath that is broken. It is your faith itself. This person dead? I don't know who that is. I could hear a voice. That one's empty. It's another mind flare. I guess if we let them out, we could kill them. And I should. But I want to see if there's anyone here. That's another mind flare. You can see his tentacles. It's empty. That looks like somebody. This pod pulsates with the angry memories of Raven Guard's search officer, Manip Shurga. She laments her failure to locate him. That's another mind flare. Oh, this is somebody. I wonder if, if that neural apparatus lets the them all out. This is a stream of fragmented memories and emotions. All that remains of the pod inhabitant's former self. Your lungs burn with the dry heat of the fires raging about you. But the pain is not enough to diminish your swing. One goblin after another falls to your blade. A man's voice cries out through the thick smoke. Raven guard. You call, but the clang of swords and spell shouts of attacking drow are your only reply. Oh, he was at, um, Joaquin's rest? Um, could I see the, the mi who the mind flayers were? The Is this a mind flayer? There are tentacles. Desperation, pain, terror. Cultists raided his village. He was the sole survivor. Oh. Oh, so I can see their past as well. The mind players. Amusement. Curiosity. Oh. oh, what happened? Fascination. He believed the horrors of Moonrise to be a fleeting dream that fade on waking. Not design. Not no. What if I touch an empty one? The device does not react to your presence. Ah, okay. Courage, conviction, defiance. Even as her organs began to dissolve, she believed she could resist. Oh, this is sad. Oh, this one's talking, I think. 
That's another mind flayer. Delirium. Mania. Laughter. <laughs> His mind broke before the end. And he was laughing uncontrollably as the skin fell from his face. Ooh, these these last images, I guess, before they turned began turning to mind flayers. It's very disturbing. Okay, I'm gonna save here here and use the neural apparatus. I'm assuming we have to fight some of these mind flayers. Um Soldier. Let's have Karlak press the button because there's a mind flare right here. There's two on the other side. So must keep going. I the all these intellect devourers are probably gonna go after us too. Maybe we should rid rid of them first. Yeah, maybe. Ugh. They may not. They likely will. Oh, I don't know. How many are there? There are quite a number. Mm, if I do something, it might... We're gonna have to kill the intellect devourers, I think. Oh man. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. How am I gonna do this? To new horizons. I must kill the intellect devourers and then I'll do this because what if the mind players come out? They have HP for a reason. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to do Let's that move. first. There's a lot. Ooh, it's gonna get dicey. Hmm. No time to waste. Okay. Well, this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm truly hoping... I just need, like, two to stand together so that it... Oh. Oh my god. Life. That killed it instantly. I finish that one off. I don't think there's any others in the room. Just this one. The rest are coming from the other room. Oh, it's saved. There we go. Two more from the other room then. I wish we could hold turn. The other one's quite far, isn't it? I need to stay focused. Where is that other one? Ah, uh, okay. I guess I could get a little closer. 
thought it was much farther. Yeah. I don't fancy their chances. I don't know if I can get into line of sight, maybe. No, I can't. Yay. Alright, now the room is clear. As clear as I can make it. Um, Let me work my magic. I venture forth. Let's get on with it. Actually, there's two mind flayers here, right? And only one on this side. Oh no, there's two on this side. I think there's two on both sides then. Alright. Shadowheart, you this start way. taking this side. Don't be shy. Saddle up. And we'll do this. Have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. And we're gonna try and get these down as quick as possible, maybe. Oh wait, I already saved. Wanna dance? Hopefully Avernus. this goes well. Your tadpole forms a telepathic connection with the device, and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. Every mind flare in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet a lithid. Terrified, desperate to escape. Oh, <gasps> is that Sevlar? The I could have missed him. To your command, to your authority. Oh no, I have to use tadpole powers. Whoa, oh no, no. I guess I'm just gonna, you know. Use the tadpole uh, just a little bit again. I know I already used it for Mizora anyway, so let's release and fight. I could have missed them completely. I didn't even see them. Man, I could have missed Zevlor and been like, where in the hells have they been? Yeah, I don't want him going after Zevlor. Creator, destroyer. Yeah. Shadowheart, you've got that right. Where's Maul? I see Zevlor. Maybe Maul is not here? I don't recall seeing him. Alright, Scorching Ray. Let's get as many targets as we can because we have that restoration thing. Ooh, 65%. Come on. It's gonna have to do... You know what? No, actually, we'll get this one down as quick as possible. Wow, that did nothing. That is terrifying. <sighs> okay then. Oh dear God. Oh my God. That. Wow, okay. All right. Still breathing, despite everything. Holy sh! Ch 
charm. Magic resist. Ah. Ah, so we gotta smack them more than you spells on them. Got it. I'm curious what this is. Thunder damage. Oh, hell yeah. Did that... Okay, it was only me and Gale that were close enough for that. Great. Ooh. No! The hell? Whoa. Yes, Zevlor! Look at all of us fighting these mind players. Oh god, no! Yeah, charm the same. Ah. Yeah. Yes, go, man. Ooh. Okay. Could I reach you? No, I can't. Could I reach you? No, I can't. God damn this spiritual weapon. Well, there's two over here now, so I'm gonna make my way over. Good job, spirit weapon. Okay. Um. So magic doesn't work well on them, and I don't have many crowd control options. So I'm just gonna throw them around. Ah, that's if I can. Diligence. There we go. That's what I'm gonna do. I can also walk away like a coward. Oh, it's a range continuous song. Alright, I'm gonna move her to a... Oh, yeah! That's all I got. Survival is all that matters. Ah, I'm charmed, but I'm singing. How freaking dare you? Um, how dare my frenzy go away? Hey, I threw you on purpose. <laughs> Yes, save on that charm. Oh yeah, look at these people just freaking owning it. Oh! <gasps> Broke my concentration. No! The spiritual weapon is never gonna hit anything. Eh. <laughs> Alright, let's rage again. You know what? Executioner. There. I speak, they burn. Telekinesis. Let's just toss. Oh, you could die. Let's just toss you over this way. Closer to the spiritual weapon. Oop. Oop. It shall be done. Damn it. Hide over here. Oh, oh gosh. Go. Yeah. yeah. Go, girl. Ah, 
It is time, spiritual weapon. Got one good hit in. Yeah. Where'd that other one go? Oh, is that the last one? Oh, it is. Down the hatch. Oh. Hells. I did. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first, please. The others, the ambush. Tell me they survived. Oh. They found refuge. But what the hell's happened out there, Zevlor? You've heard some of it, I'm sure. That I froze, or broke, or some other lie that is kinder than the truth. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard... Her, their false god, whispering promises in my mind. I would be a paladin again, with a god's purpose, a god's power. Everything I needed to protect my people. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought and ran and died around me, while I imagined myself their savior. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the Absolute. For a moment, I welcomed it. Oh. Yeah, it sounds like he was being enthralled. It sounded like... It sounds like you were being enthralled. It's not your fault. It would be nice to think so, but whatever these monsters twist us into, I believe it begins in us. I won't make excuses. I can't make amends. But I know something of what you came to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. Ketherick is below. He thinks you're no longer a menace. Descend and show him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. Good on you, man. Uh... Fine. Good luck, Zevlor. And you, my friend. And pathetic. Inadequate as it is. Thank you. Why is it cutting off audio like that? I don't blame him. Come on. It's like a scary situation. It's a terrifying situation. Um, Maul? It said that Maul updated. There is no sign of Maul in the tadpoling center of the Mind Flayer colony. She must have found a way back out of this accursed place. Oh, I would hope... Maybe she did. Awesome. What's in here? Okay, so I, I do hope that they find a way out. Oh, brains. I'm gonna gather some of these brains. Ah! <gasps> Jade! Ooh, stuff. There's random stuff to sell. Hello. I don't know whose javelin that is. It might be one of theirs. I'm gonna take it from them. They need a weapon to make it out of here. Moving in. Okay, now we descend. As I was making my way back, I noticed this area that I didn't, I didn't go to earlier. I There's feel a true mind here. Glorious. What the hell? Oil of combustion. True mind. Okay, let's let's look at that in a bit. Resonance stone. I'm gonna take all of this. A series of dots and broken lines, entries in a language you cannot read, and yet you sense their meaning nonetheless. A flash of nautiloids lining a dark void. One mind with one purpose, moving in concert through the darkness between planes. The design in action before the slave minds rose and ruined it all. Okay, 
a more series of dots and lines, a final mournful entry carrying with it a vast hollow feeling of grief, the colony in decline, the elder starving, falling dormant to preserve its strength and lie in wait for some salvation to come. Balthazar's Notes Experimental notes written in Balthazar's precise hand. His obvious defiances aside, it cannot be denied that young Gortash has the mind of a scientist. Before his latest invention, the Illithid library was no more than rows of brains swimming in cerebral slop. With his device, we no longer need psionic power to access the memories contained within, only to insert the subject and speak to it directly. I do wish we were not so eager to t in testing the device on more recent subjects of his own. However, nor in leaving their skull shaving scattered along my workbench. What? It's like a speak with dead. Hi, Patch. Maul? Oh. It's Maul's eye patch. We found Maul's eye patch in Balthazar's necro necrotic laboratory. It was bloodied but intact. Maybe she's still somewhere in the Mind Flayer colony. She's not, though. Oh no, now I'm gonna have to scour this bottled eye. Prayer of, for forgiveness. Faithful. Forgive me, Father. For I cannot help but admire the chosen of your sworn foe. Enver Gortash's genius will take us far. But fear not, those of Bane always fall to the same folly. They cannot see the beauty of obliteration. The absolute hoax will garner false love from new slaves. The absolute hoax? But once I've built a large enough army, I will use our hold upon the absolute slave to begin this vile world's end. I can see the path through the Gortash's brilliance, uh, through Gortash's brilliant plan. Gortash, Ketherick, and I will seize the Netheri's relics to control the crown, and then use the crown to command the Illithid Grand Design. The Dead Three, age-old foes, our dire patrons, will be bosom friends for a time? Do they know withers? Father, you created me to be the last soul alive. When the time is right, my power is assured, I will slaughter Gortash and Ketherick upon your altar, where I myself hope to die when the world itself is grasping its last. At the end of, of this all, Father, there will be not a single creature living. Everyone will die. Everyone will die for you. I will make you proud. Note appended at the bottom of the page in a different hand. Ha! Orin was right about her sibling. Both. Merkel, Ball, and Bane? Okay. This is some craziness going on here. Oh, a shell. Okay, let's see what, what the, this is about. Hold on. Oh, I already got that. Whoop. Okay, so there's a slack-skinned head over here. Oh gosh. And there's a mind archive interface. Empty vessel. Nothing more. Lending voice to Elder Law. Ah. Got it. Okay. That's why... That's why I'm lugging these things around. This is the true mind. Right? True mind. Every day he comes. Every day for three days to ask me how I feel. I want to tell, but I am confused. Which... which day is it? Who is he you're talking about? We are his pets. His plan. Lord Gortash. Oh. Gortash. Yeah, this makes sense. This is his little area. It's the first day. The first, yes. Five days since he put that thing in my eye. But the first day he came to visit. He says I am the last. That the other subjects have all changed. 
It's the second day. Eye hurts. Head hurts. But he says I'm past the worst of it. That I won't change like the others. He's given me a place of honor. So he can repeat his miracle. And a name. True soul. It's the third day. She whispers in my mind. She sings. Praise the absolute. This is so unsettling. <laughs> I don't like this. Tell me about these others. Separate cells. I never saw them. But when they changed... My head! I can feel them in my head! Ooh. Okay, we're gonna take that back. We only have two, because I sent the others to camp. I have a lot of these, too. Willing Mind. And the one that I picked up here, I also sent to camp, because I was low in bag space, so... Uh, second playthrough it is! Empty vessel. Nothing more. What? Oh, I didn't put it in? Oh. Wouldn't need to phlegm all over Lord Gortas during my first performance, would it? Mm, acoustics are a little off in here. Which is where exactly? Um. Are you some kind of performer? Oh, just a serving girl with notions. Till I met Lord Gortas. He heard me singing in Beggar's Rest. Said he needed someone to give voice to lost knowledge. Oh. Over my head, being honest, but the Lord has gold. I trust he knows his business. Now, I'd best warm up. Um, what do you plan on singing? I ought to be remembered. It, it not I. It ought to be remembered. Oh, oddly sentimental. Or mayhaps you're just looking for an edge on the competition, eh? No fooling me. Patience. You'll hear it when Lord Gortash does. Oh, that sucks that I was given that prompt and nothing came out of it. I can't disguise myself as Lord Gortash, though. The owl bear bore owl will's icy eye out. What? I thought you were a willing so she's the body of this. Could I use someone else to speak with her? Wait, um. Oh, I'm wearing it. Okay, okay. The owl bear bore owl will's icy eye. What? That didn't do it for you? What if Carlax speaks to you? She likes music. The owl bear bore owl will's icy eye. Well, that's annoying. I was given that bard prompt and then it, like, ended any... Eh. Nice little detour. Can I... I can't... I can't pick that up. Should mind my step. The what? Mucilaginous? Mucilaginous. Mucilaginous box. Alright, I'll head back now. All healed up, spell slots refreshed, I believe. Oh, yep. Still. And we're ready to go. So Descend. let's go. Descend. Is anyone else's temples squirming around a lot more than usual? Mine too. It's excited by something down here. Ew, look at these. Catherick, you're so dead now. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. 
The Absolute is behind this door. Enter. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, why was everyone highlighted? Was that? You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Is that Raven Guard? Gortash. Oh, that's Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from her. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. No. Huh? So you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. He must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The lash of <gasps> What? What the hell is that? What the hell? Don't tell me. Brain. The Testament Merkel. of Merkel! An Elder Brain. Yeah. Freaking one mean, of the cruelest the and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. Uh, uh. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. Can I just say, before I choose anything, holy cow, I was trying not to, like, talk over the dialogue. It was so tempting, though, because I was so blown away by the, the designs of all three of those. If they're, like, somehow... Their patron are the dead three. Those those three, Gortash, Orin, and Ketherick. Their designs are great. Orin looks like a absolute psychopath. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Um. Uh, Gail, you cannot do this. You can't condemn us to death. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, oh, oh. You could choose me. The one who loves you. We can find another way together. I love you too. Much more than myself. More. Even than Mistra. Very well. Oh. Whether I condemn this world or not. I choose you. That was so manipulative <laughs> of me, but I had to do it. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. 
Behold, Duke Ravenguard. It is Ravenguard. Whom preserve us? You wag your word, flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve no. us. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. He was. And I am the hero who will save it. Oh my god. That elder brain is just going to transport them to Baldur's Gate. Oh, holy crap! March on Baldur's Gate. We go to prepare the way. <gasps> oh, my God. Why are these highlighted? Okay, we have a lot of inspiration points here. Let's try the... Well, who's this? Well, we can't see who it is. It's just everyone's highlighted, which is really strange. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Damn, he's better with his words than I am. Uh. Why is this prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. Mm. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute. And then, take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Whoa, the way he said I will kill you now, it was just the, the most calm threat I've ever heard. You are planning on betraying your allies? Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. I wonder if they're all gonna double cross each other. We can't get at him as long as the night song's caged. The, oh, that's the night song again? How do we release her? All right. Well, so much for peace need to find a way forward. There we go. <laughs> Is that it? Oh yeah. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go Misty Step. Okay.
Let me just aura protection, saving throws, aura of hate. Deal additional f bludgeoning damage. He has bludgeoning resistance, so I think. Oof. Divine Smite. I think this will be. This will be Shadow Hearts fight. Let's finish this. Watch this. I think everyone has to go after him though at the same time because he's I've got kind it. of meaty. Well, no, he just hits so hard. <gasps> There's all these. That's for Gale. Oh. Oh. Okay, at least at least I can hurt him. Another fight. Let's go. Okay. I'm good there. Now, how do I sort you all out? Can I get you from here? Please, Mistra. Are these all uh they're all undead? I think I can get them all. Yeah, got them. Yep. Got them all. Mm, I'm gonna stay over here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you took that like a champ, Karlak. Good girl. Focus your attack, soldiers. Ah! <sighs> I should have moved back. Onward. Yeah, you're a whatever. We'll we'll handle you. Us too. Okay, maybe not. Wow, I need to take a healing potion. I'm not gonna last if I don't take a healing potion. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, I don't have the big ones. I don't have the big gulps. Who has the big gulp? Oh my gosh, I didn't even know about this! Ugh. Superior is bigger than greater? Or greater is... 16 to 40. Oh. Greater is... Oh yeah, so superior. Wow. Did not even know that I could do that. <laughs> what a life changer. Okay, what can I do here so that Shadowheart doesn't get hurt? It's gonna be Fireball. Okay. Um, I want to kind of move up here so I can target that mind flare, but I'll stay down below first. Of course. No. Ah. Oh no! 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 Oh no! What the hell, man? Ah! Ah! Shop the pig's testicle. <laughs> 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 Ouchie! 
Oh no! Oh Gail, you gotta do something, man. Gonna throw him back over. Oh gosh, I can't. Gonna throw him over here on the floor. Damn it! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Just, just to pick me up, come out. <gasps> Ow, stop! Ah. Oh, that stupid thing. Wait, hold on, I gotta get this mind player. Concentration, there we go. And then... Hold on while I get rid of this incubating thing. Ah, my spirit guardian was broken! Deal with Gortash first. Stop! Oh my god. I didn't think that would happen twice in a row. Come on. Freaking Catherick's almost dead, anyways. Kill me. I am eternal. I died. My friends pulled through for me. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. Well, but I'm dead. Like, dead. Don't tell me we're fighting a god right now. That That's oh, kind of... Mistress Silken Tresses. No! No, we are not. We should have gotten rid of that Mind Flayer because... Ah, the Night Song. God, Gil is gonna have to resurrect me, I think. Gone with the weave. Hold on. With haste. I don't know if this is worth doing, but I'll just hide here until I can can Recuperate. Oh my gosh. 
And then Misty step up here. Oh no. him <laughs> oh my god ah uh. huh uh-huh uh-huh I think this is getting both of them. That barely did anything to him, but the Mind Flayer is gone. Girl popped that biggest heal on everyone. And it did nothing. Because we have Bone Chill. Right something that I totally forgot about. Ah! Forgot about you. Now you wear a face to match your soul, Oathbreaker. No, I was gonna heal you. Oh! Oh! I need to go down here and heal. <gasps> I'm so stressed out. The hell am I supposed to do? With the with Merkel. It's a puzzle of Merkel. It's still kinda crazy that this is happening. Wow. What are we supposed to do with that? For a dull moment. I need to get rid of that thing. Me. Ah! Ah! No! No! No, 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 no. Ah, it's 14 HP. No! <laughs> Please. Yes, okay, good. So, you are really strong and really big, and you don't have fire resist. Okay, big boy, big boy, fireball. Ew, whoa, 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 what's this? Oh, shit. There are a lot of those around, huh? One life to my life. Sustain. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. I really wish I could heal her. I'm immobile. That's great. Uh, uh, oh, I have line of sight. I'm just unloading my biggest spells. Path is interrupted. Ah! Do you think I could stone skin Dame Aelin here? Sacred flame. Oh. Oh no, that's not frightened. Nope. <sighs> it's non magical, though. I don't know. They're too far to bless as well. Don't tell me my only option is literally sacred flames. To be so upset. Uh, no. What kind of damage have you been doing? I think he was smacking them with this. It's worth a try. Can't reach destination. Well, then it was not worth a try. Banish. Invalid target. <laughs> mm. Okay, protection. Ah! Can't reach destination either. Okay, well, what else have we got going on here? If I swear if it comes down to... Wait, I can... Can't move. That's a touch spell. Touch spell. I'm boned. Okay, that did something. Ah, oh, there's... Ah, oh, I won't make it. Oh, there's a lot. Okay. Okay. I will make my way over, so that when that thing is released, I smack it. I smack you. <laughs> Could really use a heal. Oh, he's gonna hit me though, so... Never you mind. What I'm gonna do though... I'm gonna go through my backpack of potions and I'm going to give myself does this negate the the whole mm. it did it gave me temporary hit points I think I think I don't know What can I do to you? Oh, I can get rid of some of these things. No time for mercy. Huh? Okay. Sure. They're gonna be a problem. Ah, no, 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 no. Potion. I need to get rid of these tiny potions. I feel like I'm gonna be okay.
Big boy magic missile. Yes. Wow. Teeny tiny little numbers. Okay, still frightened. Just Oh no, not not frightened anymore. I cannot stand there. Girl, drop biggest guiding bolt on him. Ah, and it missed. Oh no, I already have a spirit weapon there. Don't be an idiot. Gosh, okay, there's a lot. At least he's gonna die very, very soon. Oh, I rolled a one! Oh, come on, Carla! At this point, I should just have the cloud of daggers going on around him. If that even does anything to him, looks like it's not. Maybe it's not doing anything to him. Breathe deep and move. Okay, I'm gonna go meet with that guy. Drop big spell. daughter that's wild that's why he tried to kidnap her yes girl take your vengeance the rest. Together, we have him. And body. <laughs> even Carlac was like that's a bit far sword. My fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. The Chosen of Merkel is dead. Permanently this time. Whoa! Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. Yeah, I... <laughs> I can't wait to see the loot. Hold on, let me get this crap loot first so I can be wowed by the the better loot. If not over, then through. <sighs> okay, time to be wowed. And 
death, the body is cooling. That energy radiates from the stone. What's this? Remarkable. Oh, truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw. Held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it. And these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain. To subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. What are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese. These chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. Well, Catherick transformed during the fight. What was that? I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Ketherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Oh, she's so psychotic. Which means the absolute is a front for the gods of death. And our enemies are chosen of the dead three. Oh, chosen of the dead three? Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The tyrant, the assassin, and the necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers a chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an Elder Brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. What do we do now? We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an Elder Brain, Brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. This is the craziest thing that has happened. Portal to the surface, hold on. Catherick's Warhammer, oh. Karlag, you're getting some upgrades. Reaper's Embrace, heavy armor, I guess Shadowheart can wear this, she hasn't had anything in a while. Catherick shield. You get a plus one bonus to spell slave DC and spell attack shield bash. Well, I'll find someone to give this to. A crumpled note and a supply pack. Wow. I'm heavily encumbered. Alright, let me give uh, Karlak. Shadowheart. Oh, she's gonna be encumbered now too. Oh my god, let me sort this out. Hold on. I just moved some stuff around. Ooh, a bottled eye. I'm sending that to camp too. Um, I'll, I'll sort this out. Don't even worry about it. Crumpled note. Papa, I love you. Oh, 
love from is. That's so sad. Oh my gosh, Mole's eye patch. I'm just gonna send all of these to camp just so that I can. Well, I never got to really decorate Act 2 camp because I've been so busy, but. Okay, we'll go down there. And I'll loot that area here. Some of these Necromites might have gold on them. And then I'll level up once we get out of here, because it's kind of crazy down here. Yep. The night song left already. Okay, what's what's on this table here? Severed heads, severed heads. Invasion plans for the Sword Coast. Okay, keeping that. I like I like having all this stuff. Whoa, why is the camera going crazy? Invitation to Lord Gortash. Lord Gortash, the Committee of Concerned Patriarchs would like to extend an invitation to a formal meeting at the High Hall to discuss plans, short and long term, for the economic livelihood of Baldur's Gate. Tuesday, oh, Tuesday, the 12th noon at luncheon will be served. May we presume your attendance? Lord Hyrilin, Rylan, Committee Chair. That will fit in my pack. The Grand Design Dictated to Scribe Yanthus by Enver Gortash The Grand Design is the Mind Flayer species' wide ambition to return to their days of their conquering greatness through an act of sudden mass seromorphosis, giving the Elder Brain in overall command an implacable army of illithid slave warriors with which to defeat all their old enemies, human and humanoid, Githyanki and Ulitharid? Ulitharid. Of course, this delusional madness, or this is delusional madness, megalomania on a cosmic scale, and I know just how to turn it to our purposes. We're going to help the Mind Flayers enact their grand design, but only in the way that suits us. The Illithid shall have their crusade to enslave, but they will be acting in turn as our slaves, and we shall determine the how, when, and where of their great Illithid outbreak. To be precise, I, Gortash, will determine these things as commanding the grand design is clearly a Bainite task. They're going to... I would have never thought that this was it. The absolute end. Underneath this book concerning the cult of the absolute and the dangers it presents is scrawled this response to the text. This hastily written drivel is admittedly well-intentioned. Its author is clearly fizzing with fear of the absolute. The problem is that they conflate the rise of the cult with other things like the heat of death, the heat death of the universe, the resurrection of one-eyed Vecna the Lich, the proliferation of necromatic excess, and even the withering of some imported fruits from the from Chult. This person needs a glass of water and a lie down. It's funny. Amulet of the Absolute, let's take that. Some silver glasses for selling. Oh, dessert wine. Is it just me, or like, does the sound level kind of change the entire time we were down here? Like, everything... Music and sound effects just are so much louder. Okay, we gotta get out of here. This place is treacherous. I'm not... Ooh, another no traps, come on. Please. You might have you might have prizes. Even little prizes are prizes. <laughs> little prizes. I'll wait for everyone to gather and then we portal to the surface. And then we level. 
saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? Ah, <sighs> gosh. Uh, well, it seems he's a servant of Bane, as Kethric served Merkel. Who knows what powers he's gained since he knew him? I'd never have protected a Baneite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. <laughs> oh, she's so mad. I <laughs> would well, not if I come. <laughs> That's so petty. We'll do it together. Whatever it takes. He can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. Ah, oh, she is very mad. Withers it's been is a here. Long day. Better stop to rest soon. Is this camp? What's going on here? Withers, what are you doing here? And why is everyone highlighted? Oh, because I hit the tilde key. I didn't realize that's why everyone was highlighted. I hit the tilde key. Art color is here. Does that mean... The Where's Halson? I swear I saw him a moment ago. There he is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's talk to Gale first. I can't help but feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long. And I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? The crown. The one the oh, elder I freaking knew it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. Oh no. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. Uh, oh, ba back up a little. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Okay, he's starting to sound like he's thirsting for the power of that crown. Is it just me that he sound, sounded that way? So you want to go shopping? Book shopping? <laughs> yes. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. I don't know, it sounds like he was really thirsting for that weapon. I gave her Catherick's armor. She looks so good. You wanted something? Look at her, she looks crazy. There's some matters I wanted to discuss. I'm sorry. It Oh, she's might still be not best feeling good. Until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Okay. I have so many people I want to talk to. Halson. Wait, Withers, what are you doing here? Don't have a word. The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under cover of darkness. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Hmm. Is that another question that you want me to answer? And then you're gonna be like, that's okay. Hmm. 
It came from a tadpole. Huh. Not sure. Don't all living things? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. I'm surprised to see you. Wait, wait, wait. Speak plainly. Isn't there more you can tell me? No. Oh, come on, Withers. Come on. You seem to know a lot about the Dead Three, hmm? Yes. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder. Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake, and the gods shudder. Okay, I'm surprised to see you. Why are you here? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Mm-hmm. Why, though? Hmm? Jahira. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain bound by lost Netherese magic with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. You've tangled with the dead three before? Extensively. Mind flares, too. But I never dreamed of seeing gods and illithids working in consort. It is most disturbing. But take courage. We have killed a man who could not die and stripped the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone. And you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you and. I would like to be at your side when you confront them. <gasps> Can she join my party? You want to join me? Of course. Falling foul of Catherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, <coughs> there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. I'll see you at camp. How does it compare to a shadow cursed in? Oh, Karlak is good. With the Absolute's like, army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentholan's Dancing X. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders as well as give them. Awesome! Okay, it's not just me. The sound effects are loud. Hold on. It must be an update thing. Oh, it was the ambience. The ambience was louder for some reason. Hard to imagine the evil that's walked these halls, but no more thanks to us. There's no voice acting for you. Ketherick's done, but that army's already on the move. This isn't done yet. Oh, Art Kala. I'm gonna s talk to Halson instead. My mom lives in the lower city. If those freaks hurt her, I'll turn them inside out. Thanks for watching out for me. I'm just talking to everyone. Talk to everyone that I can. Oh. Helen. Isabel, we killed your dad! Isabel. My love. You were 
dead. I saw your body. I'm here. And... and so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Oh. She's a thorn. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? Yes, you'd be most welcome. We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> okay. It's- the ambience is so loud, I've already turned it down. I'm gonna turn it down again. Okay, hopefully it's not too loud this time. It was super loud. Long, dark below. But light above. Light at last. We need to level and long rest but i kind of i'm in this i'm in this like flow right now you'd make a fine fist thanks in the curse you prevailed my friend now your path takes you to Baldur's gate but i cannot join you why out there the curse still thrives i failed this place now I must remain behind and stand watch over it. Ah. Perhaps we can still do something to lift the curse. No. If you linger, you'll only jeopardize mm. your own mission. This is my burden alone now. Until either the curse is lifted or I breathe my last. Damn it! Damn it! it you, it's your fault, Halson. You bugged I out. I miss you, my friend. Perhaps our paths will cross again someday. If the sun ever shines on this place once more. Ah, come on, man. You are the one that bugged out. You have to come. I need you. This place needs me. I wish it were different. I truly do. As long as the curse remains, so must I. This is BS. Art color, this is your fault. I'm gonna blame you, because you were sleeping. Without him, any word on Nathaniel and the curse? Don't know. Last I saw you were bedbound, how did you make it here? A flaming fist. A novice, actually. She dropped everything to make sure I made it here safe. Duke Elton would be proud of what the Order has become. 
A pity they cannot spare the resources to help you with Thaniel. You know, I'm gonna find this Thaniel. I'm working Please. on it. Hurry. I don't know how much longer Thaniel can last. I'm gonna do this, Halson. I'm gonna do this quest alone, and you're going to thank me so hard for it. Wherever it is. Well, oh my gosh, I have all of this place to loot like now, though. In the curse. Where's the vendor? Is there a vendor here? You? Quartermaster! Oh, thank god. I'll go do that real quick. Alright, before we go long rest... Let's level up. I don't even know... Am I supposed to be level 10 here? Another cantrap! Oh, skills. I can change them. I can add them. I'm gonna add more persuasion. <laughs> uh, acrobatic stealth, maybe? Yeah, stealth, so I can kind of creep forward when we're dealing with people. With a situation. Improve Bardic Inspiration and a level 5 spell slot. Cantrip! What cantrip do I want? True Strike, Friends, Dancing Lights, Light, Minor Illusion. Um, yeah, Minor Illusion. Might as well take it now. Alright, spells. Woohoo! Greater Restoration, Hold Monster, Mask Your Wounds, Planar Binding. Mm, I like that. Seeming. I like this. It has to be a celestial, an elemental, a fae, or a fiend. But... I kind of like it. I want to see... I want to see it in action. I know it's super situational on what kind of creature I have to target, but when I can do it, it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to do it. Yeah, planar binding. Magical secrets. Your versatile knack for the arcane lets you learn magic from every discipline. Choose some additional spells to add to your repertoire. Banishing smite. Oh. From afar, ranged. I can just point at it and it does it. Cone of cold. Conjure elemental would be fun. That would be so fun. Oh my gosh. Wall of stone. Let's pick a fifth level. And one fourth level maybe. So for a fifth level, I mean I already, Shadowheart already has banish. So that's kind of okay. What would be really cool is if I can conjure an elemental. Oh, I kind of want to... I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just so cool to be able to create something like that. Yeah, I don't care about that. No, I just want the cool one. Have a nice elemental friend with me. Okay, and then I want to pick maybe like a fourth level. Um, Blight. No, wait. I have to think like bard-like. I know I have access to, like, other people's spells, but I still want to state... Okay, this is not very bard-like, whatever. I mean, I'm making a friend. Is my friend the elemental? Um... Dominate... This kind of makes sense, but it's a beast. I feel like dominate person would be cooler. Yeah, Counterspell would be great, but I already have Cutting Words. Ah, let's stick to like a fourth level spell, so I have more higher level spells. Um... Eh... Yeah, I mean, these are annoying, but I don't want- I don't want it either. Dominate Beast.
Hmm, gosh, there's so many good choices. Ah. Dang, I really can't decide. Hunger of Hadar. That was terrible. I hated it when it was done to me. But at the same time, I don't like putting it down because it was such a problem to deal with. And then Karlek's going to be going in there and it can't use it. Um, maybe I could do Call Lightning. Lightning strikes all targets within range? Oh. I don't know. Let's do Blight. No effect on undead and constructs, but I don't know, it just seems kind of cool. Necromancy spell. Yeah, why not? It just looks cool to me. Don't want to replace anything. Nah, I'm happy with, with what I've got. Should I have something more like crowd control y? Dominate Beastwood. Yeah, you know what, Dominate Beast. That seems more like bard like. Not really bard like, but I guess, like, in a way, I have, like, charisma based spells, and this is, like, kind of like convincing their mind in a way. So it just seems to fit a little bit more. I don't know how many more beasts we're gonna encounter, but it just. I'm trying to do things. If I really was gonna. I would probably pick Blight. We already have Banishment from Shadowheart. But uh, let's just pick something different. All right, there. Carlax turn. Ooh, actions, intimidating presence, menace an enemy and still a terrible fear within them for two turns. Ooh. If the target resists the effect, it can't be targeted again until long rest. Cool. Oh, she looks so good in Ketherick's armor. It just looks so good on her. Look at you. It's so cool. Cantrip. Thaumaturgy. Light. I think you already have that, don't you? Produce flame. Wait, unless this is item dependent. Is it? Wait, I need to check. It was item dependent, and because it is, I need to get rid of that ring, get her a better ring, so let's get light as a cantrip. Prepared spells, nothing new, I assume? Yeah. Hmm. Let's do Greater Restoration. Um, hmm. Why does it seem I have less spells right now? What's going on? I thought I had more. Oh, no, no, no. It's not listing all of them. It's just the ones that I can change. Uh, yeah, let's leave Contagion there. Kind of cool. I mean, she can get Death Ward instead of Sanctuary. Let's replace that with Death Ward. Although Sanctuary is a lower level spell. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep Sanctuary. Okay.
Yeah. Last but not least, Gale. Subclass features, empowered evocation, you grasp, your grasp of evo evocation magic is tightened, and you can add your intelligence modifier to damage rolls with any evocation spell. Um, awesome. Cantrips. Let's pick an evocation cantrip if there's any left. I mean, there's dancing lights. I, I mean, why not get dancing lights? You already know this spell. It's probably from an item. Oh no, it's from a necklace, I think. Um. It's a concentration. He doesn't really have many concentrations apart from Wall of Fire that I use. Let me see if this is item dependent. I just want to make sure. Okay. Bone chill is not from an item. I learned it from like one of my feats, I think. Uh, I just had to double check. So I might as well just get dancing lights. Gives advantage, right? Oops. Yeah, true strike. Yeah, why not? Dancing lights. Have at it, Gale. Conjure elemental. Oh, why can't why can't I learn this? Huh? Why can't I learn this? Why can't my bard learn this? Because this is so much cooler. I'm gonna get it. Seeming, conjure minor, minor elemental. Fire shield. Oh, I want this. That would be nice. Or this resilient sphere. Eh. Stone skin. Oh gosh, okay, dominate person and fire shield. So I could be like a full ball of flame and cold damage. Okay, that's kind of cool. I want that. I want that. Yeah, Gail, you're gonna learn that. No time to rest. Okay. Now to loot this entire place. Oh, we should probably long rest first. But I'm worried if we long rest, will all of these people loot everything? Oh, another parasite. I'm encumbered. An orange. Sending that to camp. You know, I should cut this out of like your viewing because otherwise this is going to be boring for you. Yeah, I've emptied out this room, but there's so much more I want to take from around here. And there's oh, it's Marcus. There you are. I was wondering where the devil you'd been. Oh, uh, is preoccupied defeating Catherick Thorm. Who? Oh, right. Well, forget about that, McGungus. We have more important things to worry about. Like Walbrin. Why? What about him? Walbrin and the Iron Hand Gnomes are planning something dreadful in the city. They have room powder, they have motive. We have to stop them. Ah. Oh. How can you be sure? Because they're a gaggle of vindictive crybabies with no sense of propriety. <laughs> That is to say, they gabbed about their plans like a geese, and I overheard them. Like a very devious goose. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay. Seems we'll have our hands full in Baldur's Gate. With the sword of justice in one hand and the shield of self-righteousness in the other, we most certainly will. To saving the city. And my fool of a friend. Man, that guy sucks. Forget Wolbrin. It'll take time, but this tower stone will heal. Moonrise has been cleansed. Baldur's Gate is next. 
The lands are still shadow cursed. Man, I'm so upset by it. Whoa, what's going on here? Everything is hovering. Could I sell this to them? No. Scroll of chromatic orb. Potion Maybe of greater healing. Pockets. Let's get some useful things. Like the supply pack. Pumpkin. And, and I promise I will go long rest. I just want to get all of this stuff. These tool. Sure, I'll get that scroll. Anything of use? But we haven't looted Moonrise because there were bad people here before. And now we can loot with freedom. Oh, well, we already were able to empty these. Okay, let's do the bottom floor first. Oh, it's in this wardrobe. Ah. Let's go see the cat! I wonder if the cat is still here. Where is this? This is downstairs, right? Or is this upstairs? Oh no, this is upstairs and the cat was here. Oh, hello! Steel Claw! Wait, I need to speak with animals. Oh! Why did it do that to my camera? What the hell? Steel Claw. Quiet! Lest I miss its cries for mercy. Okay, you're still obsessed with that. That's okay. Let's... Blah, my camera is going weird. Holy fire. Is that what uh, Night Song did? This holy fire? Cursed to put my hands on everything. Ah, I hit that holy fire. I step on it and it, it, dam it, it too damaged me. We have a, a lot of rooms to cover here. And the upstairs area as well. Oh wait, there's th this side here. Hold on. Duh. Come on, camera. Oh, there's a burlap sack. With a rotten mushroom, well worth it. To the left. <clears throat> Everyone's been killed here, right? Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Could I? No, I can't damage it. Okay. Let's have a look. There's no one else here. Oh, is it the ones that came out to fight earlier? Fish head! Food! Oh yeah, look at all this food. Where did this go? Outside? Yeah, this went outside. Oh my gosh, all of this food. A courgette, garlic, dried pork sausage. Hey, I didn't get the garlic. This is for Astarian. Dried pork sausage, pork loin, roughly cut ham, pig's head, delicacy. Okay, don't need the cleaver. Oh, we don't can't get that. All right, I'm not gonna loot those. This goes back outside. Hey, it does. Okay. We're gonna go loot upstairs. Everything's rotten in the bags. Everything's floating here too. It's so so weird. Like the table broke. Obviously from Night Song rain and hell here, and then it's uh just floating. That girl is gone. Potion of healing. Oh yay. On weapon coding. Group of adventurers approached me, their grins docile and earnest, and they needed my knowledge in alchemy to help them differentiate between weapon coatings. They claimed to be giant hunters. Taking pity on these well-meaning morons, I explained the 
This section of the page has been ruined beyond salvage. Annotated in the margin, someone has thoughtfully made the following note. Poisons. Poison the target and sometimes inflict an additional condition. Toxins. Deal damage over time. Oils. These inflict conditions and can harm creatures that are immune to poisons and toxins. When endowed with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Three good twists is all it takes to grind a magpie into flakes. Hold on, that's different. That felt good. I've really come to loathe that bastardly rhyme of mine. I'll leave it untouched in previous chapters, but from now on, I'm having a bit of fun with it. Who wrote these? Series by Haskin Zafaz Elman. Oh, the Dragonborn. The Blood War. If ever there was a conflict in the planes of existence, a conflict that swells up as if filled with pus, bursting only to sac scarify and atrophy and never heal, only swell up and squirt itself out again, a never ending pus carnival of pain and misery, the Blood War would be that conflict. It raged, and rages still, truth be told, between the demons of the Abyss and the fiends of the Nine Hells. Cunning Yugoloths. Yugoloths? Oh my gosh, I need to sneeze. Oh. Oh, it's gone. May play one-sided against the other, but the conflict would swell and burst and swell again without much coaxing. It is in both sides' nature to fight. Man, my cold is killing me. Any knickknacks we can pick up from here? Like this looks like an interesting device I would like and cannot have. Ah, mushrooms. Alchemy supplies. Torch. I'm gonna sell all of this again. Come on. Like, how? Don't. Yay, look. Things that are not rotting. That's great. There were the locked rooms upstairs. I need to check them out. Faniel. I had to look after him. I'm gonna go find Daniel. Don't even worry about it. Uh. Oh, the kids. Helm's blessings upon you. Hey kids, sorry I couldn't find them all. Miss Elvira wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I miss Maul. I'm trying so hard to find Maul. I swear I looked everywhere. Elvira is writing us a song. A stupid song won't bring Maul back. Tell her, won't you? She's just trying to cheer her, you guys up. Why yes. Once Althea is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. Man, you're just an opportunist. Okay, there's nothing here to loot. No scrolls or books. You're here. Good. That's good. Are you alright? Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. I'm sure they appreciate it. Oh! Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we play together? Yes! Sure, we're ready when you are. Yes! I've missed this. If you can't keep up, don't take it to heart. Excuse me. What to pack and what to dump. She's playing the power. That's cool, it actually- oh, It actually syncs up really nicely.
I need a party of bards. I need to do a multiplayer of just all bards, and this is what we do. Just play. That's it. Who's sleeping? We're gonna play the whole song. Is she gonna stop at some point? I mean, I love this, but I'm just wondering, like, how long are we gonna be sitting here? Good car, like she's like bouncing through the music. Okay. That was a blast. There. Thank you. I hope we get to play again sometime soon. Yeah, that was a blast. Where's my coin? No one's gonna. Oh, I passed my performance check. Excuse me. Nothing here. Nothing in these robe books. All right, time to loot upstairs. I'm guessing everyone came here because Isabel left, right? So since Isabel left, ooh, uh, last light in is no longer protected. Maybe. Whoa! They bust down the doors. Or at least the night song did. <gasps> A painting! Nothing here? Oh, there. No! This land room, you wanted something? No, no, no. We'll do that when we long rest. We will talk to Night Song with you. Ooh, all these books here. Oh! Sometimes the camera goes way too crazy. Oh, a book. Hmm. I nearly clicked. All right, where's this book I picked up? The Leadership of the Zenterim. An excerpt from the ongoing Metatex rebound by Yosef, Yosefa Elgin, a scholar, scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the Metatex, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Despite their pro protestation to the contrary, it takes no keen eye to see echoes of Bainite philosophy in modern Zenterim practice. A strict militaristic hierarchy where all power flows from the top. Who occupies that position today is a matter of some speculation, for the Black, Net Black Network's leadership was thought destroyed along with their headquarters at Zenthil, Zenthil Keep in 1383 DR. In the following decades, however, a new base of power began to consolidate at the fortress of Darkhold, far to the south. At its center stands the Paragos, an enigmatic armored figure to whom the Zenterim's rebirth is almost single-handedly attributed. Whoever their leader, it is clear that this new Zenterim have no not abandoned plans for domination so much as recalculated their approach. Where one once their fo focus was on the subversion and conquest of nations, the network of today is much more concerned with establishing their stranglehold on the market a power which crosses borders that are closed to more conventional forces. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, The Risen Road, Volume 4 The stained, well-thumbed pages filled with traveling advice that seems to be decades out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road, running parallel to the River Chanthar. The Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from El Terrell to Baldur's Gate, and has proven 
tempting to travelers seeking an alternate route, uh, alternate to the river barges that sail the Chianthar. A portion of the road approximately halfway between Elturel and Baldur's Gate has in recent years developed into an enclave for saloon worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Further east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers, where a toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll. However, bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. Sorry, it's so hard to read these when my nose is clogged. Because I can't breathe. No word from Balthazar. I read this already, but I didn't pick it up. Yeah, I read that already. I just didn't, didn't get it because... Uh, I think Zarel was here. Ugh. I'm just gonna pick these up and keep them. Because I like keeping all these maps. And I already read that missive. Yeah. Oh, another book. Beheading the Bitterroots. The Grimforge reg region is an important choke point as it controls access to Moonrise Towers via the Underdark, but Grimforge is occupied by the Durgar Bitterroot clan. Though not numerous, these Durgar are a band of tough combatants and could prove inconvenient obstacles should we need to move military assets quickly through the region. These Durgar must be neutralized. Accordingly, let a team of Orin's crack doppelganger assassins be assigned to the task of killing King Gordon, the monarch of the Bitterroot clan. After the assassination, the team is to gather Gordon's head and especially his crown before ensuring that both are hurled into the fathomless depths. The Bitterroots, unable to crown a new king, will fracture into quarreling subclans, the leader of which can... can one by... Oh, there, sorry. Ah, one by one be tadpoled. Disciple Zarel, on behalf of Gethric, uh, Gethric, General Ketherick. Sorry, I caught a cold from my kids. School started, they're bringing a ton of germs home. A ton, it's, it's troubling. Okay, I looted all these books. There is this door here. And then whatever the hell this ancient altar is for, and then that other metal door there. I wonder if I have the key. I have the key now. Whoa. Let's fix this chair. Welcome. There we go. What the hell? This is like the shadowy stuff. Taking this other painting. Oh no, I Pity keep about Carlac. Oh. I was getting used to having an extra strong around. Okay, we'll we'll talk later. Uh. You know, I miss Halston too. Pity he didn't stay with us because he was freaking bugged. It's so upsetting. Okay, which door should we go through first? Yeah, let's go through this one. This is the first one I spotted. Oh, this is where we entered from, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's another way out. How about this door. Sorry, I don't look at. Whoa, what the hell is this? Okay. Ah, uh, I was like, what realm is this in? That's going to have a trap. Not enough space to get in the bed. A shapeshifter lying in wait. He won't get the drop on me. A shapeshifter? Hatch 
Charged up. Pushing on. There's no time to waste. <laughs> yeah, why not? I like these things. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> Where do I go from here? Why not? We're gonna long rest anyways. Yeah. Well that ends not as bad as it could have. Stay letter. My darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins and picture myself an enormous opaque a silvery shield surrounding you, protecting you. I knew somehow deep within myself that no harm could ever befall you, because I would not let it. Though the healers say I may pass into the City of Judgment soon, know this, darling daughter. I am always around you, and always with you, and the Moon Maiden will never allow you to bear a burden you cannot carry. I love you forever, a love that has no death. Mama. Is this Isabel's room? What does this look like? Ooh. Saluna's devotion. Saluna's devotion. This diary records the life of John Medolin. He suffered from lycanthropy, becoming a werebear at the advent of the full moon. Cured of his condition by a priestess of Saluna, John Medolin exchanged his claws for a great sword and claws. He would keep his priestess. This priestess, her name was Erlona, safe from all trouble on the highways and byways. Further, he would bear witness to her many miracles, for Erlona was a saint of the goddess, and gifted even more than he could have imagined. They never fell in love. Their friendship was quite something. I like that. I like stories with platonic relationships. Not everything has to be... Uh, no! Full body depiction of a tiefling! I want to keep it. Okay, I'm gonna get this portrait of a trade master then. Oh. Death and Divinity, A Godly Guide. I believe we've read that before. It's amazing how good my memory is of what book titles I've read. Melodia Thorn, loving mother, beloved wife. Her light will never be forgotten. He locked away her room. That's really sad. He lost his wife. He lost his daughter. Oh, this mirror is lovely. I'll take it. And this goes outside. Shot. Outside, it seems. Oh. There was holy fire over here. Oh, we could have snuck in from somewhere. I don't know how we would have snuck in from there, but it could have happened. And I'm guessing that this is Isabel's room, maybe. Or some kind of crazy... Office. Apostle Diary. Most of the text has been scoured away by time, but what remains appears to be some form of ritual incantation. Your white ribs the pillars, your bleach skull the dome, take on the Apostle's final form. Cathedral wrought of blessed bone. Damn it! Shadowheart should have read it. Ritual. Mm. Doesn't seem related to Shah or Saluna. 
What's Catherick been up to? Let's That's how he became the apostle of Merkel. Another step forward. Suelto's Ethic of War. The Ethic of War by Christina Suelto. My colleague Amaps proposes a fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare our enemies then once they have fallen to our night might? Are we to put all hatred behind us when surrender is offered? Indeed not. For what shall be done what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and masses them once again along our borders? We shall wage another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnanimity. nimity. <laughs> once an enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be razed to the ground. Only then can we be free of its specter. Vicious. So this was like his summoning circle or something, because it was nuts. This is where he did it probably. Let's see if he left like other notes here. Attracting drow exiles. Hold on. What? Dictated by Scribianthus by General Kethrick. Sweeping up individual drow renegades is not giving us the catter of loth trained veterans. I want loth trained veterans, sorry. I want for our staff and officer corps, we must be more ambitious. Argent Argent Agent Silver, True Soul 113, will be commanded to infiltrate Menzo Baranzan itself. Ideally, House Bainra, ostensibly to proselytize on the behalf of the Divine Absolute. I think Silver, this is the most bizarre Silvre? Silvre, maybe, will be convincing in this role. This intrusion will excite outrage among the Bainra matrons, who can be counted upon to send a war band to exterminate whoever was so rash as to promote anti loth apostasy in their home. Silver will have left a clear trail behind here to Moonrise, where the warband will find not a circle of ragtag heretics, but an army in the making. I will parlay with the drow leader, but as we negotiate, her warband will be ambushed and every drow warrior will be captured with a tadpole. Will be tadpole. This accomplished, the warband leader will meet the same fate, and thus we shall acquire our catter of hardened underdark warriors. And all it will cost us is a life of loyal Agent Sil Silvray. But he is, truth be told, a tedious enthusiast, and I will not miss him. That's cold, Catherick. Damn. Okay, what else is here? Oh, there's an urn here. One of his family members must be up there. Hello, whoever you are, you're coming with us. Whoa, there's a hey, lot of urns here. Good. Okay, he's had a lot of family members just buried here. That's cute. That's what? Oh. Bed linen, sure, why not? Look at this. Look at these stained windows. I'll take that. I'm gonna take this. Yeah. Rocket right will do the trick. Yay, I can lie down in the bed. Okay, what's here? Elder brain domination, no way. Confidential, dictated to Scribianthus by General Kethrick. Young Gortash's plans to enslave an illithid elder brain and make it our ma marionette under control of the crown of Carsis was preceded almost without flaw. Barring the slight delay, while our ballist allies sorted out their leadership conflict, the weak point must surely be the sharing of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement and that of the murder cult. But eventually, it's certain to fail, fracture our fragile alliance. Clearly, all three netherstones must be controlled by a single leader. Me, by preference. But not until after all the stakeholders have made their essential contribution. 
Gortash fears that, energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the Absolute will eventually metamorphose into something new and more difficult to control. If he's right, the need to invest the power of the Nether Stones in a single wielder is urgent, even more so in that Enver Gortash at least must be thinking the same way. So all of them must have been planning to double cross. It seems like it anyways. A silver cake stand. Oh, there's a pear. I'm gonna get the pear. Some purple grapes. An orange. I can't see any of them. They're all bugged out and sitting inside this silver cake stand, which I'm not gonna take because I already have one in camp. Oh, who's this? Hello. No, it doesn't say. Too bad I can't speak with dead with bones. Missive from Gortash. General, given what we know from my research about the Gith artifact, I can't emphasize enough how critical it is that to be that it be recovered. The power that artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels, but if it falls into the hands of enemies of wit and persistence, it could bring down all of our plans and schemes. The body of our handpicked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Nautiloid, and I'm not at all easy in my mind about that fact. Find the artifact. Employ rigorous means. Do not fail, Lord Gortash. Lovely. Oh, nice note from him. Love note. There is one final room here. Oh. Oh. Where does this go to? Nowhere. Okay. Yes. Good thing you had the sense to go around the holy fire. Lockpick. How hard is this to unlock? Ah! I have to get a crit. Okay. Let's see if we can get in the other way. Oh, and we're back here. Okay, I gotta get into... There's a secret room here. Okay, we're gonna get the protruding book then. Oh, again. Get the other protruding book. Stuck. No. Ah. Ah. Let's step out of this room. Ah, all right, we'll just sit in this poison for a while then. Okay, it was literally the last protruding book up here. I think. Won't budge. The hell would I have to put in here? Here. Maybe it's something in this room. Ooh, can I see out this telescope? I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Oh, that's interesting. There must be something in here. 
that will tell me how to open it. Oh, no, 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 no. So it is this protruding book. Seems to be stuck. Why is it stuck? Is it because of this? Or could I grease it up? Do I have any more grease bottles? Oh no. I usually sell Don't those. Burn yourself. It's stuck, but why? Where is Greece? There it is. Oh, I don't even have anything assigned there. No use. It's blocked. It's blocked. But why? I mean, I think I know why. Ow. What did that do? No use. It's blocked. What did that do? You know? I don't know. Can't give up now. I hear something. I have no idea what it is. I really want to get back there. But I don't know how. I have a feeling it's this. Do I Let's put a see. bone on here? Do I have any bones? Or maybe I can put a heart here. Or a skull. I don't know. How about the heart? Who picked it up? Your desire. Oh! Oh no yeah. This. Oh, Wait, I knew it had to be something from this room. Okay. Ah! Oh! Another trade master. Research notes. I have redirected some materials from beneath the tower. I plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the mausoleum itself. But the general prefers that no more of his family crypts be disturbed. Even so, I may have no choice. The temple will not surrender the night song easily, and the general's invulnerability depends on it. I am sure he will forgive a little transgression if it frees the army to move on Baldur's Gate at last. This is Balthasar's room, Sounds right? Like the source of Ketherick's immortality. Yeah, we already know that. Nice name. Wonder if it's a music box or something. I, I was thinking kind of like that, like it, night song. Against Thorn, perhaps. First, we have to find it. And I tell you, he keeps it very. They're talking very. as if we've never experienced this. Hold the brim hat. Once returned, the condition inflicts on target also applies to turns of encrusted with frost. Ooh, maybe we can give this to Gale if he doesn't have anything nice. Oh, there. Rows of books, big pot.
tiefling. Oh, that's an interesting... Interesting drawing. Yuck, what's this? Balthazar's torture. Okay. Broken moon lantern. Broken moon lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. Oh, a dead pixie. Another dead pixie. A ritual circle. What, what the hell was he... What is he doing with all these broken lanterns? A ritual circle. Looks like it was used in ah. the crafting of moon lanterns. Okay, so he was putting these pixies in there. Goblet with dead tadpoles. Taking that. Putting it in camp. Yay. Could I send these to camp too? Yep, I can. Okay. A seat that has seen many occupants. None of their own volition. And none in comfort. Alright. We have seen everything here, I believe. Let's see what this does. I do want to see the last light in. So now that we've seen the entire tower, essentially, I feel like we have. Yeah. House with flowers. We have to go here. Maybe we have to kill the kid. We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead. And they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I have allies. Uh, I know, that's why I just recruited Jahira. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. I tried to get Hulse and he left. Um... Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. Okay, I tried to map my way out. And it did that, so instead of mapping out, I'll see if I can walk out, see if there's anything I missed. Like, people to talk to, I mean. Tolson, you are a big disappointment. Whoa, whoa! Ah, encumbered. I will bag management really quick. Here we go. Back out. Yeah, but it's still very much shadow curse. The gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces. Something good here, I hope. Better be. It hasn't been that long. Oh, key. Oh, there was another. Oh, I found another parasite. Okay, we won't go to Baldur's Gate yet. I have to long rest. So... Let's do that. Maybe it'll bring us closer. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. 
should Baldur's Gate fall to the absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. The Absolute's cult has Raven Guard. Where will they take him? Worm's Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's army's on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Mizora said that you can say what led your to your pact and exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Oh, yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? Oh. I'd give up my life if it meant keeping the residents safe. As would I. And more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. Mm. The cult of the dragon had infiltrated Baldur's Gate. To what end? To conjure the Dragon Queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Allow Will to share his memory with you. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant. First softly, then crying to the starless sky, there is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm, the first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul, and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Okay. Ah. Uh. Surely Mizora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Ah, uh, sacrificing your soul to save the city was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, 
and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle with the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. It was brave what you did for the city. I don't know that it was brave. We already said this, though. I just know what that about, it was right. What about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. So no one ever After, knew what he did. He said only one word. Go. So I did. Oh my gosh, that's really sad. No one knew what he did for the city. He was exiled for it. We'll return to the subject later. I understand. Oh, I can say this. You must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. And Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Do you miss your father? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Man, that's sad. What does Lady Sel got to say? To Baldur's Gate, Voss will be waiting in this Charesse's caress. That's right. I just want to see what everyone has to say. Astarian. Just like that hulking bear to stomp off in a half. Oh, I swear, <laughs> druids care more about the plants of this land than the people. Oh, he's more, he's just as upset about Halson leaving as me. Hold on, I'll leave those three for later. Because that's big, big story stuff. Hey, soldier. Hey, Karlak. Um. Tell me more about your relationship with Gortash. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, <laughs> brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work, guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. <laughs> Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I liked that. Not like that, you know. Just, it felt like a good fit. I kept him safe, and he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him, trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Man, that sucks for her. It's okay, we'll kill him, best friend. I would not hero. linger in this land over long. But whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. So we traded Halson for Zahira. It's great. Great, great, great. 
withers. Arabella, you're still here? Because, uh... Things? Fate spins along as it should. You speak so slowly. Dost thou require a new ally? No. Or mayhaps... A I should kill Halson and have him resurrect him and then he'll stay in my party. <laughs> Druids will always follow nature's purpose over any mortal threat. Halson goes where he is needed, as must we. Yeah... The night song sounded useful. Could it save you from the orb's detonation? I doubt it, but you know, might as well say it. Alas, no. The charm Elminster granted me requires my death as the spark that will light the orb's fuse. Making myself invulnerable, immortal, or in any other fashion unkillable would render it useless. And gods only know what it might do to the orb itself. Still. I see no harm in learning what we can about this night song. And if we manage to find it, the harm will be all Ketherix. So, well worth indulging our curiosity. Oh, we're not gonna use her for this, but yeah. Oh, I want to speak about us for a There's moment. Can I do it? Nothing that would give me greater pleasure. Oh, no. Okay. I've already said all of these, so. No matter. After all, a bond like ours hardly needs words to express it. What else is troubling you? Leave. All right, time to handle Shadowheart's big problem. She is lost, has no god, no deity. And we you must give her something? one. Oh, she won't want to talk, huh? Okay, let's talk to. Isabel and I can't believe it. I Aelin. can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he'd become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. You and Aelin seem to have a lot of history. What happened? A great deal. But still. Some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorn is... was... my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself, tell me. Do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> love, eh? Lust hourly. That doesn't sound like me, though. But it is bardish. It's the bard option. Uh, certainly there's magic in a look. That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why. But all was black. 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 Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows, and then my father's face, so changed, so hideously warped. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> this answer, he'd become the Chosen of Merkel. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now, said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years, that my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them and myself, no matter what. 
I've been dead a hundred years. Understandable. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. I like her tagging along. Alright. Dame Aelin. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be <gasps> Okay, yeah, open your mind to that sensation. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. It's a druid! of passage about how they would abandon their children out in the wilds and force them to find their way home it seems no that the child never came back she was taken oh what who was that man you already know did you not see yourself in him <gasps> do you not recognize your own blood my father that was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents I need to save them what she's saluna this whole time I had goosebumps I still have goosebumps ah oh. your parents are with your abductors you will need to return to their lair but be warned you may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. A spear of night? I thought that was cast into Shadowfell. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. 
Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <sighs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. You were Salonai this whole time. I knew you had goodness Almost in you. Pleasant traveling with company, if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. I want to talk about all that's happened Fine. to us. What's on your mind? Oh my God! What? What are these? What are these options after something like that? Okay. Okay. I wonder what the next move is. Where is it? Is it in my bag? Never a dull moment. Ah! <gasps> Can I give this to Shadowheart? It like it belongs to her. Me. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to her. Wow. Wow, you are all right. What now? Oh, I have no words. She was flies before me. A follower of Saluni this whole time. Friggin' A! Her parents are alive. Okay, we have to sleep. That was that was a lot. Sleep peacefully, we deserve it. Like no need for other stuff to happen while we're sleeping. That was that was a lot. Oh my gosh. I have no words. So nuts. I'm never gonna stop thinking about her backstory. Ugh. Ugh, look at his arm sticking up. Okay, so we're going to end the episode here, but for the next time. Why is this part of the map not explored? Anyways, I'm gonna go here to see what I could do with this house of flowers thing because it's bothering me and then we're gonna check out Last Light In. Then we leave. That is the plan. We're gonna do that next time. On... Maybe I'll have it out in like a day or two's time because this is so exciting. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. That was an epic wrap up for act two i'm gonna be thinking about this for a long long time ah until until the next episode take care everyone